Well, just got done taking a shower. Had a pilot. It's about uh, 3.30 in the morning. Somewhere in Wyoming. On my way to Salt Lake City. Getting ready for the round at Utah. Gonna go hop in the van. Get a little bit of sleep. Roll out in the morning. Try and do some climbing tomorrow on a bicycle. Gonna be fun. <laughs> Yeah, so we're out here at Utah Motorsports Campus, up at 4,000 some odd feet. Air is pretty thin up here. Whenever you're really working hard, you're sitting there sucking air, just <gasps> gasping. You know, this track is really good. It suits me a lot more than most than a lot of tracks, just because it's fast, flowy. You're just on the side of the tire, just going back and forth most of the track. And um, you know, it's got this huge, huge long straightaway you're hitting 180 miles an hour, and then you're hard braking into a fast sweeper, it's completely surrounded by mountains, and then you have the Great Salt Lake over here. It makes for some really, really cool action shots. Whenever we're on track, you know, you get the mountains in the background, and it's a huge bicycle area, um, huge paragliding area, which I got to do a little bit, a little bit of. I got a little taste of it, and. Uh, you know, it's it's a it's a really cool place. It's beautiful up here, and and it's it's one of my places to come race at for sure. Yeah, you know, we had a little bit of time between Road America and here. We went up to Park City and uh, pedaled for a few days up in the mountains and uh, did some climbing and stuff, and tried to get ready for the altitude and and prepare for a little bit of the heat. But yeah, you know, practice and qualifying went fairly good. I I couldn't break the 52 streak that I had. I was just doing 52-0, 52-0, 52-0 every single session and I just couldn't break it. We're here ready for Super Bowl here out at Utah Motorsports Campus. We just got done getting the bike ready and got it on the other side of the wall. So I'm guessing I'm just going to give you a quick little run around of some stuff. The toolbox, of course, we have everything labeled kind of where everything is. And this is like all the brake drawers, of course. Then of course we got the uh, cameraman's equipment that's always in the way because now I'll never be able to get this tire out for the tire change, but we're used to it. He's always slacking so now here we have like a tray set up so we can do a front tire change if need be and stuff. And with the heat out here at Utah right now, we need to have to use the blower after each session just to keep the bike cooled down a little bit so it doesn't try to overheat. And then of course the last thing that we need is a kill him. What do you say there, bud? Yeah, get in there for that look. Not too much fancy stuff going on here. Then we got Glenn over here, the other mechanic. He likes hiding away from the camera most of the time, so I figured I'd go ahead and show you. Here we got Carrie Gillen back here. Yeah. The mom keeps the whole team together. Come on, Carrie. You can do it. Yeah, you know, I ended up qualifying P10 after struggles in Super Bowl. Good, I got the best start of the year. Then got caught into a pretty good battle with Danny Eslick and Bryce Prince and Jake Lewis. Jake kept trying to come up the inside of me in turn one. And, uh, you know, I just, every lap was out breaking him. Somehow I was able to pull some weird, crazy outside pass around Bryce and Danny in turn five. From there, put my head down, tried to go as fast as I could. My fast slapped the race the next lap. And then Jake busted through and, and slowly hunted me down. Um, had a couple things uh, on the bike happening that uh, I just couldn't go faster. And he slowly caught me and then with two laps to go, made the move and, and put down two of his fast laps of the race. And it was, it was really nice to actually be up there and be racing with with Jake Lewis, who's on uh, the other Suzuki Superstock bike, we've been we've climbed up the ladder a little bit this race weekend, and it's really good to see Hayden smiling and happy because I know he can go if he's got confidence in the front. We found some confidence in the front, and the whole crew, their spirits are up. It's it's part of racing. You 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 push forward no matter what, but when your spirits are up, it makes it a lot easier to be here and do all this hard work. We got off to another really good start in race two, second lap. Broke 52, got a 51.8. We had the bike feeling pretty good. There were a couple things with the suspension that were just a little too far. But like I said, we were able to do 
within half a second of my fastest lap every single lap. We had Matthew a couple seconds up in front of us, and then there was Jake and then Bryce Prince right on him, and, and then there was I was back about two seconds, and I was this close one or two more laps than I think I could have for sure had a podium, but we're going in the right direction, and, uh, and the bike's really solid right now. I'm, I'm right there. I ended up only two seconds behind Matthew, who won the race. I'd say it was a really fun weekend. I think, I would say it, it was one of the best weekends I've had, even though we had some ups and downs the couple of days I was here before the races, and then it, it just kind of relaxed me and, and let me let me mesh with the bike, let me become one with the bike, and it allowed me to go fast. Love it. I've had fun in Utah. I got to do some climbing, got to see some moose, got to see some deer. But uh, I'm ready to get to California, go see the beaches, see the pretty ladies, and uh, World Through Bike Weekend. Got a booger. Like a like a like a liquid booger. Yeah, you know, just, just being that close, just you know. Sorry, that was that was wrong of me. I'm sorry for getting angry. I just really just really want to get there.